What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kev Moore here, back with another little video. And this one is gonna be about dogs. <clears throat> First of all, I gotta say, shout out to my cousin, Dogman. Dogman, you already know that when I was coming to Brooklyn as a kid, and you always had them damn dogs, <laughs> you had Spicy, you had Spanky, you had Mac, yo, your shit was crazy, you feel me? <laughs> now you got nice now, and now you got rules. So shout out to Dogman because you know that you are the reason why I'm primarily into dogs, especially the American Pitbull Terrier. Also, big shout out to um, these guys have never met me, but I could tell that, you know, just watching their stuff via YouTube, that they're dope people and that they, you know, they take pride in what they do. Shout out to Thompson's Kennels. <clears throat> shout out to Southern Triple J. And shout out to uh, Hurricane Bloodline, um, Tadina. Even though he doesn't deal with the American Pitbull Terrier, he'll let you know I'm dealing with the American Bully. But at the same time, I can see the integrity. I can see the, um, the passion, the devotion, the dedication that he, you know, he puts towards his animals. Um, Thompson's Kennels, um, I've been watching your videos for a little minute now. Um, I knew I always wanted to get inside of the American Pitbull Terrier world or, or the dog world in itself. And, you know, your videos helped me a lot. The uh, know what you're buying. Basically, I just watch your entire playlist <clears throat> about the American Pitbull Terrier. So, biggest shout outs to you, Hustle Man, Hustle Boy, Cold Crush, Me Maha, who else you got? Proud Mary, and the list it goes on. And shout out, last but not least, shout out to Southern Triple J. You got some dope videos, and your dogs look awesome. So, this is nothing but. <clears throat> and there's another guy, oh, what's his name? Performance canine athletes or something like that. I forget his name, man. Oh, well. Um, him. Shout, shout out to him. He got like a bald head. Uh, he's an older guy, too. But he always uh, shows some, you know, some pretty cool dogs. And also Ready Red Kennels. Uh, I watch a lot of your videos, you know. So basically, I went out and I purchased, right? And I got me an American Pitbull Terry. Purebred, of course. And here's what I want to show you guys in regards to my purchase, in regards to the American Pitbull Terrier, in regards to the route that I want to take, and my goals for my dog, right? <clears throat> so this is, mind you, I'm brand new into the game, into the dog world. So I just watched those guys' videos, and I basically just said, all right, cool. Let me just take their advice, right? So one thing I advise you guys to do, <clears throat> if you want to get an American Pitbull Terrier, you want to make sure that your breeder is reputable. You feel me? Point blank period. You gotta have a reputable breeder. And you definitely want to make sure that your breeder is associated and registers their his or her dogs with the Amer with the ADBA, the American Dog Breeders Association. Point blank period. These are all facts. You don't want to get into no type of a trouble if you trying to sell something that doesn't have any paperwork on your dog and you don't want no trouble with these animal people, man. <clears throat> You, you, you really just don't want no type of a trouble with that. You feel me? Because these animal laws and these animal rights, and man, these shits will have you jammed up. Point blank period. So here's my paperwork. You feel me? This is the ADBA paperwork that I received from my breeder. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I don't want to show. Oh, it's pretty, nothing crazy. All right, so <clears throat> this is my paperwork, right? My dog is registered with the ADBA, and I got a, I got Sizzler from Tatanka's Kennels. <clears throat> He's an American Pit Bull Terrier. He's red. His <clears throat> sire, Caesar Jones. The dam is Red Cross. You feel me? So you definitely want to have your ADBA paperwork. And aside from that, you definitely want to make sure you have a list of family tree. You understand this is a family tree all right so i have a purebred 100 percent sorrels american pinball terrier once again from the tonka's kennel shout out miss joanne she's been very nice she's very reputable she has a good reputation in the dog world and you know um i just give thanks that i was able to purchase uh a dog from her from a reputable breeder and at the same time uh, just have something 
100% pure, you know what I'm saying? So I could, you know, my shit is documented, my shit is facts. But nonetheless, let's get to it. So Sizzler's father, <clears throat> his sire, Caesar Jones, his damn, his Red Cross. This is first generation, second, third, and, and, you know, and it continues on. This is just a, like a blueprint to show you how your dog was bred. And it shows the family tree in which your dog comes from. As you can see in there, Thompson's Kennels has the Tagus Maha. So Sizzla is a, uh, I think it's third generation. One, two, three, third generation. Uh, I want to say brother, but I got to learn how to read this shit a little bit more. Once again, I'm brand new, but... If anybody could explain this to me in the comment section down below, that'd be dope as fuck. You feel me? But I'm only basically showing this shit because, yo, there's a lot of talk in the dog world about how dog men and women can be uh, dishonest. They can hang papers. They can do all this shit. And I just don't think that that's cool. I think if you're going to do something, do it to the fullest. And aside from doing it to the fullest, just do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? So for anybody else that's new that wants to get into the dog world, my only suggestion is make sure that your rep, that your breeder is reputable. Number two, make sure that they're registered with ADBA. <clears throat> Number three, make sure that your dogs are healthy too. You know, you definitely want to make sure you have a healthy dog. But last but not least, you also want to make sure that your dog comes from a a tree. Like you want to have like the pedigree. This is just the pedigree, the family tree. And this shows you how the dog was bred. <clears throat> Point and blank period. This is the simplest way I could put it. You understand? That's the simplest way I could put this, man. Because I got plans for Sizzler. <clears throat> got plans for Sizzler. You know, I'm going to do some breeding with him in, in, in the future. Um, you know, after, you know, I do some other stuff with him as well. want to make sure he's a good dog. Right now, he's sleeping. He knocked out. But definitely just... When it comes to this dog stuff, man, I believe in doing it the right way and being, you know, having integrity and just doing things properly, you know? There's no reason to lie. There's no reason to hang papers, especially in 2020. So if you want to get a dog, make sure that your breed is reputable. Make sure that they do uh, health tests. Make sure that they register with the ADBA. And also make sure that you do your best to get a, uh, a family tree generational chart to show you how your dog was bred, point blank period. Feel me? I don't believe in hanging papers and doing this the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much it, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know down in the comment section below if I missed out on anything, if you wanna purchase an American Pit Bull Terrier. Cause if you walk around the hood and you see a lot of people with pits, quote unquote, <laughs> what they think is a pit, but it's really not a pit. A lot of them have American bullies. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> pit bull is a good dog, man. Pit bull is a good dog. They're loyal, they're friendly, they're active. They just have a bad, rep um, bad reputation in, 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 in the media. But you know, a pit bull is a real good dog, man. They don't shed a lot of hair. They just need to be worked, you feel me? So do your homework if you really want to get an American pit bull terrier. And with that being said, man, I ain't going to hold you guys too long. I'm out. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the Tonkas Kennels. She's got some dope stuff. Check out Ready Red Kennels. Check out Southern Triple J's YouTube channel. And check out Thomas's Kennel YouTube channel. They go into a lot more depth than I do. They have a lot more knowledge than I do. Once again, I'm brand new. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I come correct with the very first dog that I purchased. You know? Because <clears throat> when I do my breedings later on in the future and I charge a certain price, I charge $2,500 for a puppy. They're going to be like, wait a minute, why are you charging so much for a pup? $3,000 for a puppy. Well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And I feel like the American Pit Bull Terrier is a great fucking dog. And since it's a great fucking dog and since it's actually rare, um, <clears throat> as far as the raw and authentic American Pit Bull Terrier, Man, you know, <laughs> you, you, you're you going to have to pay a pretty penny. I definitely might start my own bloodline. I definitely want to have my own family tree of dogs. So 
I'm glad I purchased my my pup. He's 100% Soros, top and bottom. So I have a pure bread in all type of ways. <laughs> you feel me? But um, just stay tuned, man. And yeah, pit bulls is the way to go, man. <clears throat> Reputable breeder, ADBA paperwork, and some type of family tree. And you know, health. You feel me? So like, comment, share, subscribe. And shout out to all the the older dog man too. Uh, I watch videos with uh, whew, documentary TV and uh, whew, interviews with Don Mayfield. Man, it's, 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 it's too much to name, man. But I'll end the video right here, man. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Should I get a, uh, a damn <clears throat> or should I wait? And just, you know, fuck with Sizzler for now. And just learn as much as I possibly can. And that's pretty much it today. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Talk to me in the comment section down below. Bless.